how do I build a Raspberry Pi Pico PLC without having to make and assemble a PCB? That's easy. You should already have the other pins so that's the Raspberry Pi Pico. A Pico screw terminal board like this one is what you need next. It has the pin header slot for the Pico, screw terminals connected to the Pico pins, and LED status indicators for each pin. This PCB817 up to isolator board will allow an industrial 24 volt device to be interfaced with the 3.3 volt input pins of the Pico and protect the inputs of the Pico from damage in an industrial environment. I have the four input type with LED indicators. A relay model will allow the 3.3 volt pins of the Pico to control industrial devices at 24 volts. Industrial control equipment 24 volts DC will be stepped down to 5 volts with this converter module and connected to the VC pin of the Pico. You can get these items using the links in the description. The PLC editor software to use is the Open PLC editor, which is an open source automation IDE based on Beremis IDE. It supports ladder diagrams, function block diagrams, structured tests, instruction lists, and sequential function blocks, which are PLC programming languages specified in the IEC 61131-3 standard. You can download the editor from the OpenPLC website and follow the prompts to install it. The OpenPLC software can program other microcontroller boards alongside the Raspberry Pi Pico. The OpenPLC maps the inputs and outputs of the PLC to specific GPIO pins of the Pico using the IEC 61131-3 nomenclature. In the OpenPLC editor, you must first check for updates, which should take some time. Then close and reopen the editor again for the updates to be reflected. The board files for the I.O. mapping of the supported boards are in the HAL folder of the OpenPLC installation. Right-click on ROP2040Pico.cpp and select Edit. In the Pinout Configuration Description section, the digital input pins are from GP6 to 13, corresponding to %IX0.0 to %IX0.7. The digital output pins are from GP14 to 21, which corresponds to percentage QX0.0 to percentage QX0.7. GP26, 27, and 28 are the analog inputs and are mapped to percentage IW0 to percentage IW2. GP4 and GP5 are analog outputs equivalent to percentage QW0 and percentage QW1 respectively. I am connecting the 4-channel PC817 model to GP6, 7, 8, and 9 of the Pico adapter board. The relay model connects to GP14, 15, and 16. Adjust and connect the external 5-volt power supply DC converter to V6. A simple motor starter will be a test application. Therefore, two push-button switches go to GP6 and 7 up to isolators. A contactor is connected to the GP14 relay, and two indicator lamps are connected to GP15 and 16. The PLC power supply is 24 volts. Create a new project from the file menu. Create the project folder. Let's name it Moto Starter. Then click on Select Folder. I will select LD for ladder diagram programming and click OK. We must first create variables for the PLC inputs and outputs. Add Boolean variables for start and stop digital inputs mapped to percentage IX0.0 and percentage IX0.1. Moto 
stocked and running digital outputs with percentage QX0.0, percentage QX0.1, and percentage QX0.2. In creating the Moto Starter program, click on the Power Rail icon on the Tools bar and then the Editor window. Select the left power rail with two pin numbers. Add a single right power rail. Then add a normal contact for the stats and another for the motor variables. Add a negated contact for the stop variable. Add a normal coil for the motor and connect them as shown. Add another room in like manner to indicate the operating status of the motor with the running and stopped output variables. Click on the Start PLC Simulation icon to enter the simulation mode. Click on the Debug Instance icon to start the simulation. Observe that the motor coil is disabled which in turn enables the stopped coil. Right-click on the Start Contact and select Force True and then Release Value to enable the motor coil as well as the running coil. Repeat the same process for the Stop Contact to disable the motor coil. Click on the Stop PLC Simulation icon and return to Editor Mode. Click on the Transfer Program icon. Select the Raspberry Pico as the bot type and the port number. Ensure that your Pico has been plugged into your computer. Then click on the Transfer to PLC button. If this is the first time you are hitting this button, all the microcontroller board files in OpenPLC will be downloaded to your PC, which should take some time. You can have the Pico PLC operate a motor with the required status indication. We now have the Raspberry Pi Pico PLC programmed with the Open PLC editor. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and press the bell button if this video is helpful. Hope to see you soon.